Welcome to Rhino3D.tv. In the following tutorial, we're going to model a class ring similar to the one that we see on the screen. Let's start a new document. Small objects, millimeters. Let's go now to Tools, Options, and set up our document with the right grid. We go to the grid option, make the grid 30 millimeters from the origin point. Minor grid lines are every one millimeter, major every 10 millimeters. And the snap spacing will be 0.5. Now let's go to the colors, change our major grid line to a color we can see better to the finer space easier, like a light blue color. We click OK. And our grid is much easier to, to see now. Let's start the ring with a circle for the finger size. The circle is going to be 9 millimeters in radius. Now from the top view, we're going to draw an ellipse, defining the stone, the stone shape. We'll make a 5.5 .5 radius. for the length and 4.5 radius for the width. Now let's go to the front view. In the front view we will move this new uh, stone shape uh, ellipse to its correct placement. Notice we're using the grid to get our measurement. Make sure to provide enough clearance for the lettering, which is probably going to be around three millimeters high. So we need to give yourself, you need to give yourself enough room. Move that a little higher. Now we'll take this circle, the finger size, and we're going to offset it. At 0 0.8, 0 0.8 millimeters. And I think I need, we need more space here, so we'll move this up just a little bit more. We are now going to offset the ellipse to give ourselves uh, a, a small rim around the stone. Uh, we're going to use uh, 0 0.25 uh, distance. We can hide this curve using our pop-up menu, hide. And we can also hide the finger size. Now we're going to begin to draw the, the shank. Uh, we'll give ourselves some guidelines from the quadrants of the circle. We'll go with two millimeters from the sides and uh, one and a half from the bottom. So 
So using quadrant snap, we snap to this side. Make sure ortho is on. Make sure we're straight. And this is going to be two millimeters. We need to mirror. So we mirror that one over to the other side. So we got two millimeters on each side. And we place a one and a half millimeter curve at the bottom quadrant. Now we'll place an arc. Starts here, ends there, and point on arc right there. Notice the use of the end, end point object snap. These uh, we don't need anymore. We'll get rid of them. So hit delete, select and delete. Now we're going to create the outer rim of the head. So I offset at 2.75. And I'm giving myself a two millimeter space between the finger size circle and the bottom part of the head. And giving myself three millimeter space gonna go in here from the two parts of the head. Now that one for now I'll we'll hide that one. I'm going to draw a straight line down the center line. Let's create a polyline one using from quadrant to quadrant to across quadrant snap the ellipse. And we proceed to extend by arc to point to the center midpoint and we get rid of that line now using a conic we're going to define the tapering of the shank of the ring notice we're in the right view We need to extend this conic slightly so that it's a little longer than our ring. So we go to extend. One millimeter and we click on the endpoint. And we have an extra millimeter at top. Curves from two views. We now have the curve of the shank we'll use trim and we now have the curve that defines the shape of our shank We need to mirror that across the red axis. Now we're going to create uh, arcs uh, at the ends of uh, and quadrants of our shape. Uh, making sure we use endpoint and from here to here something like this now we switch to the top view and uh, we want to make sure we use quadrant 
in this side, quadrant there, quadrant here, and something like that. I will go ahead and hide the finger size. Let's trim the top uh, ellipse. There we go. And we need to create one more arc along the center. So we'll go from quadrant there to quadrant on the bottom to quadrant in the middle. And we create our surface using that network. Make sure our tolerance is correct and click OK. And I hit delete to get rid of those lines since I don't need them anymore. And this surface can now be mirrored along the green and they can be joined into one and we now have the shell of the shank complete now let's bring back some of our other curves out here I'm going to draw another conic slightly on the outside about a millimeter outside of the ring use curve from two views to bring our circle out to this conic. Get rid of the conic and we can even get rid of that one. Okay. Now we are going to duplicate the edge right here and we are going to use a polyline using quadrant snap. We'll create a polyline from this quadrant to this quadrant on the, on the curve and we'll put one at the bottom also. Now we can pick those uh, new lines and the circle and we'll use trim and throw away half of it and we will follow it now with creating the surface so we go to our surfaces and we pick sweep two rails the first rail the second rail cross session cross session enter and OK and here is our half uh, little surface there uh, we don't need those curves anymore. We'll go ahead and select curves, delete. Now uh, we pick this here and we mirror along the green. So there we go, across the green, I should say, and now we mirror across the red axis. Now we can loft the inside surface from this side to that side enter and OK and from this side to that side enter and OK and the bottom of the ring once we join it is ready to go